As mentioned, barbershops are among the group of businesses allowed to reopen tomorrow. And tonight, as NBC4 Sean Lanier shows us, many of those shops are, are doing some last minute touch ups just to make sure they're ready to operate under the new guidelines. The clippers will be on, and chairs just like these will be filled tomorrow. But today, it was all about preparation. Everybody's in agreement to, you know, making this situation the best we can. It's the mindset many of the barbers and stylists have here in Ohio as they prepare for tomorrow. A lot of them are, are they're ecstatic, you know, they're excited. They're cleaning and making sure that they have their gloves and hand sanitizer and also are mentally preparing for this challenge to operate under COVID-19 guidelines. This is something new and how do you actually prepare for something that you kind of can't see. Chris Ransom is opening his new shop here in Whitehall, but is leaving the memory of his old one that's on the east side of Columbus. It's kind of bittersweet. He says a few days after the state closed barbershops due to COVID-19, he received an offer to sell his shop on East Livingston. It helped him financially through the pandemic, but he couldn't even say goodbye to his customers. This is a neighborhood that I invested in, you know, 30 years of my life. On top of that, he's ushering in a barbershop with new requirements, adding there are still some questions they need to answer. We're not for sure if we're going to stay open as long as we normally would stay open or we're we going to cut our hours, you know, so we won't have so many people during the day. While he puts the final touches on his new shop, he's preparing to educate his customers on how to make this situation safer. He believes teamwork is needed. If we all work together at it, I think it'll, you know, definitely we'll be able to tackle it even better. And to remember, barbershops and salons are appointment only, so you'll have to call in before you show up. Looking for you in Whitehall, Sean Lanier, NBC4.